Hello everyone, today I would like to share our work, the MPC-based reinforcement learning for simplified recognition of autonomous surface vehicles. Autonomous surface vehicles widely applied in transportation, military, and etc. Um, designing the controllers for some tasks by clearing free pass following and autonomous stopping. It's challenging because of the uncertainties and temporal disturbances. People now use some aerial based strategies because this aerial can use real data to reduce the impact of disturbance. Traditional aerial approach uses uh, the neural networks and as a function of approximation. However, in our approach, we propose to use the MPC as a function of approximation. For NN based aerial, it requires a huge amount of data to learn from scratch, and it like a form of tools to satisfy the constraints and uh, to, evaluate it, to evaluate the stability. And there's no physically meaningful way to choose the parameters for NN. However, for the MPC book, this is our approach. It use some known information, for example, the system models, and the system constraints can be easily handled. And uh, because of surgical support behind MPC, it enables us to do some surgical analysis for our controller. Moreover, this MPC based R approach can still reduce some system uncertainties thanks to ARIO, and it could handle the long term or even infinite horizon problem. And the, this kind of approach is a, a performance driven approach rather than the model driven approach. It means that we will uh, try to improve our performance. This is an ASV model. We have post vector eta and the velocity vector nu. And this is a real dynamic system. Uh, where T alpha is a configuration matrix, um, uh, we have two inputs. One is the force uh, of the thruster, and the other is the angle uh, of the thruster. And we have some constraints on both force and angles. And this is a general system. We have state input and the dynamics function f, where tau a again is a disturbance rendered from maybe ocean waves or wind. For the simplified free automation, we want to do a claim free pass, uh, pass following and autonomous blocking. First, let's say the claim free pass following. Given the reference pass, the pass following could be thought as minimizing this error. And for avoiding obstacles, it could be thought as satisfying these constraints. It means that distance between the ship and the obstacles should be greater than some distance. Or we can write this J function as a zero. For the autonomous docking, a successfully docking means that the ship reaching the endpoint accurately with zero velocity and force. So it means that at the terminal time k, this H should be. Um, near equal to zero. It means uh, it should be docking accurately with zero velocity and zero force. And when we do docking, we also need to avoid any collision between the ship and the, and the um, K. Uh, so it could be thought as satisfy, satisfying this constraint. It means that the, the, the pose of the ship should be within this safety region defined by this uh, uh, equations where the matrix A and the vector B are determined by the shape of the K and uh, that define the convex safety region S. So the objective here is to find a policy to minimize this closed loop performance J, uh, where the stage cost function L is defined as a piecewise function. It means that when we are far from the endpoint, we more care about the pass following and uh, planning avoidance when do pass following. And when we are reaching the endpoint where we should focus on the docking and also the planning avoidance in docking. Now let's introduce our MPC based reinforcement learning approach. First, we want to use a parameterized MPC scheme as a function approximator for the optimum policy. So here is a parameterized MPC scheme. As you can see, in the uh, cost function, we parameterize the L theta, H theta, and gamma theta uh, with some parameter theta. And uh, also in the dynamic system, instead of using tau A, we put some parameters theta A here. 
Um, and uh, these are the constraints for force and uh, angle. And uh, this is a uh, constraint for a plane avoidance in pass forming. We also put some theta here and a slax variable sigma. These slax variables can avoid the invisibility of the MPC solution. And this one is the initialization of the MPC scale. So the parameters vector is defined as this one. Um, and how and why we need these parameters? It's because there's some mismatch between the MPC and R formulation. So the horizon for MPC and R is different. For example, for MPC, it could be simply short horizon. So we can solve the MPC very fast. But for R, it should be the whole episode of the task lens. And the cost functions are different. Remember that in R, we have piecewise linear. We have piecewise function for the stage class. However, in MPC, we consider the stage class. We consider the uh, uh, function for pass following and docking uh, simultaneously. And also the system model is different. Uh, you know, in RL we have real models, but in MPC, we, we, instead of using the stochastic model, we use this deterministic model, but with some parameters sit here. So because of these reasons, we can say that it is reasonable to parameterize the MPC cost functions, models, and constraints, et cetera, and use RL to just these parameters to improve the, according to the principles of improving the performance function J. It's actually theoretically, under some assumptions, if the parameterization is rich enough, it means we, if we have more uh, thetas to parameterize the MPC scheme, uh, the MPC should capture the optimum policy in presence of model uncertainties and disturbance. And this theory, is mathematically proved in this uh, paper. And if you uh, are interested, you can take a look. Uh, now the question is that how should we find this data? So we use the RSTD based DPG method, which is a determinist policy gradient method. The DPG optimizes this data directly where the gradient distance steps on performance J. And the, this is the update rule, where this gradient of J is calculated by this equation. The first part of the d pi d theta, the gradient of the policy according to with respect to theta is the is, is given by this equation uh, from some sensitivity analysis. And the second part is given by this one, where QW is a compa compatible Q approximator and V V is a V is a value function approximator. And uh, how should we get this W and V? is by the least square formulation that we want to minimize the error between the uh, approximators and the true value. Finally, theta can be given by this equation. Okay, this is our MPC-based uh, uh, LSTD-based DPG method. Uh, so as you can see here, we update, we calculate V and W and then update the thetas until it converge. And then the MPC scheme here will deliver the optimum policy. It means the solution of the MPC scheme, the zero star is the optimum policy. And this is the parameter values for simulations and the initial parameters factor is chosen as one. This is a machine we use and the training time is two hours and 40 minutes. And the average runtime for MPC solve is seven, seven seconds, uh, which is fairly enough for the optimal surface vehicles. And this is the simulation results. Uh, as you can see, this is a fridge shaping path from the origin A to the endpoint B. And uh, the, from P1 to P13, it's a trained uh, episode. You see for P13, uh, the path is the uh, most, uh, it's the best one and also guaranteeing the safety. And this is the variations of the some uh, selected MPC parameters over learning steps. As you can see, all of them are getting converged over learning. And uh, these are the variations of the norm, the policy gradient uh, over learning steps. As you can see, it goes to zero. And also this is our closed loop performance G. You can see that over learning steps, finally it will, uh, be minimized. This is the variations of the 
uh, docking error, the docking error under the learned optimum policy pi theta star. As you can see, when we do docking, finally it will the errors will be reach zero. And uh, you see the velocity also goes to zero, which uh, signifies a uh, su successful docking. And for the force, it also go to zero, and for angles, it will keep constant. It means there's no more actions on the upper, on the ASP operation. Okay, so in this work, we try to uh, do a clean free pass tracking and autonomous docking controller for the ASP. Although there uh, exists model and uh, stochasticity and uh, time-burn disturbance, um, we can solve the problem by formulate, formulating the free emission problem into an MDP and uh, uh, we use a parameterized MPC as an optimum policy approximator and use the RSTD based deterministic policy gradient to find the best parameters that minimize our performance function J. And uh, we see that the MPC parameters will converge over training steps. And finally, we find the safety and economic policy. Thank you.